everyone, my name is Corrado Rangel. For those of you that are new to my channel, I'm a real estate broker here in Toronto, Canada. I've been investing in stocks now for about a year, so I'm not an expert or financial advisor, so please don't take any of my advice. I only make these videos late at night when I have some extra free time in my hands, and I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions on stocks, and I'm just sharing my journey as well. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why I think Tesla will go to $750 on Monday, yes, $750, and why I think Neo will double by the end of 2021. I wanna know what you guys think. If you guys agree or disagree, leave your comments in the comment section below. All right, so let's start with Tesla. I started buying Tesla shares back when the stock was trading for the high sevens and the low eights. This was before the stock split. My game plan always with Tesla is to basically own these shares for a really long time and just to forget about it. But I also, because I followed the company so much, I also wanted to trade a little bit of stocks here and there. So there's a part of my portfolio that I will never touch and there's part that I, I trade with. And I do own a Tesla Model X. I don't own Tesla shares just because of that. Uh, actually, when I bought the car about a year and a half ago, I didn't own Tesla shares. I, I wasn't gonna invest in Tesla until, until I started doing a lot of research on the company. Uh, and you know, I just love the company because it's a vertically integrated company and I believe in it a lot. Um, so yeah, my, my game plan was to actually sell some shares on Friday only if the stock would hit close to $700. So the reason why I thought the stock would search at $700 is because there's so much volume coming in on Thursday cl closer to, to close when the market closed from 350 to, uh, to 4 p.m. So literally 10 minutes before the close, that's when the stock was going crazy and surged. Now, my game plan for Friday was to actually wait until 10 minutes before and then after that's when I would try and sell. So I had a limit order in, um, got really lucky. It filled at $695. Now, this is what I think is gonna happen. I think that if stimulus gets passed, then the stock can actually surge to $750 right away in the morning, right? Because there's still some institutions that haven't bought, could be like $10 billion. And obviously that can bring, a, that could bring you know, a lot of volume at one time. Like we saw literally, like not even a second, like probably like half a second before the market closed. It just surged to $695. Now, we don't know when they're gonna buy. They could buy at the end of the day again, or you know, they can buy when the market opens. We don't know when they're gonna buy. But my prediction is that if they do pass stimulus, this stock can surge right away to $750. But if that doesn't get passed, uh, and let's say even if the markets you know, are, are on our side, are bullish, it can probably maybe go down a little bit, go stay in like the 660 range, 650 range, and then, and then slowly go up again because we have that 10, maybe, maybe it's around $10 billion, I don't know, I'm just guessing, of uh, institutions that haven't bought. So my game plan is to get back in if the stock goes to even 660 bucks, just, I'm just doing it as a trade. Uh, sell if it goes to 700 again or even 750. Uh, and then after, you know, um, I will wait because I do think that before uh, Q1 earnings, that this stock will actually um, go down significantly, maybe even in the, in the 500s, who knows. So my game plan is to actually have some money to be ready aside, ready to buy when uh, the stock does go down significantly. And that, that's my game plan with Tesla. So we'll see what happens. But if the, if the markets are, are negative and bearish, now who knows? Maybe it could even go down to the low 600s. But at a neutral position, if uh, the markets you know, are, are stable, I think that the stock will um, we'll see a little bit of a sell-off on Monday, may go down a little bit, but then it can, it can skyrocket right away to the $750 range. So this is what I predict, um, and I think there's a really good chance it can even go higher, but it really depends on stimulus. I had some friends that saw some of my posts on social media, and they're like, Corrado, I want to start investing in Tesla. And I'm like, hey, do you even have a plan? Do you want to own this stock for a week? Do you want to own it for five years? Like, 
what's your game plan? They had no clue. I'm like, look, I'm not a financial pl planner. Uh, I'm not an expert. But I personally think that because historically Tesla always does very well uh, for Q4 or earnings. And Q1 earnings is always pretty bad historically uh, from 2014, 2015, 2016. I think 2017 Q1 earnings were better. 2018 um, was bad. Uh, and 2019, 2020. So all those years I just mentioned, except for 2017, uh, Tesla did really bad for Q1 earnings. So that could be a really good time to buy. That's when I think the stock is going to go down again. So I'm saving money uh, to buy during that time. And I gave them that advice too. I said, look, you're going to buy at the highest price points. And you know, like if you're not going to keep the stock for that long, maybe it makes sense for you to, to actually wait. And you know, historically, if prices actually drop around that time, it makes sense to get in, get in around that time. Now, again, if you're going to hold it for five years, maybe even getting in at these, these prices, like nobody knows. So told them it's up to them, but, uh, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, uh, or an expert, but yeah, I'm buying, I'm buying a lot of these shares long-term cause I'm a Tesla bull and I believe in the company. Two of the most popular stocks on the planet right now are electric vehicle manufacturers, Neo and Tesla. Both of them combined trade about 200 million approximately shares per day. Now, this is insane. On Friday, Neo closed at $46.72, and this company looks really sweet. So far in 2020, Neo has delivered a total of 36,700 vehicles. That's more than 110% than 2019's tally, and they're aggressively investing in production so they could increase their deliveries. A reason why I believe that NEO is going to do really well in the future, and why I believe that their stock could double by the end of 2021, and this is a big catalyst for them. They launched this program called BAAS, and what that stands for is Battery as a Service Program. It's $145 a month, and if you go with this program, they, they take off $10,000 off the purchase price of the vehicle. And the, I believe they got this number because the average commuter in Shanghai, China spends $145 a month on gasoline. So what you basically do is you bring the vehicle to them, they'll replace the battery with another one. And instead of going, going to charging stations, you can do that and it's a lot faster. And another, another great feature and why I like this is because I own a Tesla Model X and one of my concerns I remember uh, before I bought it was if replacing the battery, if one day I had to replace the battery. And I know with Tesla's, the warranty is pretty good. It's, it's eight years uh, here in Canada. It's about 160,000 or 180,000 kilometers is one of the two, I don't remember. So whichever one comes first. But after that, I believe that your battery is not covered. I remember when I bought the vehicle, the guy told me, he's like, hey, if you don't have warranty, I don't recommend buying a used uh, Tesla that doesn't have a lot of warranty it makes more sense to buy a new one because if something goes wrong, you could it can cost you a lot of money. So I think this is genius. Whoever came up with this deserves a lot of credit and this is a big catalyst for them. On December 16th, NEO announced the completion of the offering of 68 million American depository shares, each representing one Class A ordinary share of the company, at a price of $39 US per ADS. The company has granted the underwriters in the ADS offering a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 10,200 ADSs. On December 16, 2020, the company received the exercise notice from the underwriters pursuant to which the underwriters will exercise their option to purchase the additional 10,200,000 ADSs in full. The closing of the sale of the additional ADSs happened on December 17, 2020. The company plans to use net proceeds from the ADS offering and the sale of the additional ADSs mainly for research and development of new products and next generations of autonomous driving technologies, sales and service network expansion, and market penetration and general corporate purposes. I think there's a possibility of NEO coming down a little and then just shooting right back up because there will be a phase of it just moving sideways and then before NEO day, which is January, 9th 2021 it's gonna reach its all-time high and that's just my personal prediction if you guys like this video please smash the like button and maybe YouTube will start sharing my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell thank you for watching adios hey guys it's Corrado if you want to watch more videos just click over here if you want to subscribe which that would make me really happy just click over here
Have you subscribed yet? I need an espresso. <laughs>